friends, it's Trista. Hey, I wanted to show you this quick um, craft that I've been playing with lately. I'm a little bit obsessed with it. Anyway, it's decorating a bottle. I mean, I like to paint bottles a lot and do like the alcohol inks on bottles, um, but this is even faster. This is a balloon on a bottle. And it's not quite like blowing up the balloon and trying to shove the bottle into it. Um, you have to kind of do it a little bit backwards. So I'm gonna show you how to do it really quick because this is a lot faster than pinning a bottle too. So what you need is a bottle. These are just old ginger beer bottles. Um, you don't, unless you're using a really light colored balloon, you don't have to take the label off at all. Um, obviously you need some balloons and they're not just like the party store balloons. These are called large twisting balloons. And I think there are also, you can find them online, um, called four by six balloons or six by four, something like that. I'll have a link in the, the blog post. Anyway, they are a little bit longer. I think they're used for like balloon animals and whatnot, um, but they're, as you can see, they're wider. Okay, so you're gonna take your balloon and you're gonna blow it up to be about halfway. So you're gonna, it's gonna kind of look like a Norwal. Um, and then you're gonna, Kind of push it a little bit just to make sure the air can stretch around into it easily. Okay, it's almost like you were making a balloon animal. All right, so now you're going to take your balloon, I mean, sorry, your bottle, and you're going to take the flat end of the bottle to the tied end of the balloon. And you're simply going to push the bottle into the balloon. And don't worry, it shouldn't pop, hopefully. <laughs> Um, as you're pushing it in, you're going to kind of grab it so you can hold it through. And I guess you can't see my hands at all now. Okay, so you're going to hold, grab it so you can kind of hold it all the way through. Push it as far into the balloon as you can. Hold on, I'll hold it up again in a second. Okay, so it's the balloon is inside there. All you're going to do is cut the tip like that and let the balloon deflate onto your bottle. You might have to stretch it just a little bit to make sure all the air comes out. Stretch it a little bit like that. Still has a little bit of air on it. Okay. And then all you're gonna wanna do is trim this little tail off as close to it as you can. It still has a little bit of air, so let me try and get the rest of the air out. There we go. And then just to make your bottle sit as flat as you can, you're gonna wanna cut this all the way off. I just hit myself in the eye with that. Okay, so then you have a bottle like this that you can just sit on the table. Here's the one that I did before. And then let me show you what I made with it. This is my little Halloween table decoration. So all this is is a little bit of rope, um, one of the leaves from the fake flowers, flake flowers, and the Halloween pick. Now what I did to make this steady on the table, because this is really top heavy and you don't want it to fall over, is I filled the bottom with some beans, um, you know, like kidney beans or something like that, the little spotted ones. Anyway, that's it. Happy crafting.